Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to create custom connector in Power Automate. Here I will create a custom connector for currency conversion. Where I will use the Currency Beacon API. For this you need to sign up to that site. Then you will get the API key. Then, you can create a custom connector. Before I dive into that, I will show you a little bit about what is custom connector. It is very simple. You are working on Power Automate Flow and you are trying to add some actions that you don't see. in any of these categories listed here. If you don't find the connector you need, that means your needed connector is not available. You need to create it. The connector that you create out of a custom API, it could be an internal or external API, is called a custom connector. Under the custom tab, you can see your custom connectors. I've already created these so I can see my custom connectors here. So how did I get them? I'll show you in this demo. Before you go to create your custom connector, you must sign up to your API key provider site. Here, I logged into my Currency Beacon API key provider site. where I will get my API key. The sign-up process is very simple. You may use your corporate email or Gmail ID. With this free subscription, you can call 5000 API requests for your testing that are more than sufficient. You need to copy the API key. Only you need this key from here. Without delaying much, let's start creating custom connector from Power Automate. How can we create that? I'll just log into my Power Automate or Power Apps environment. From the left side panel, click on the More link. Then, click on the Discover All button. Then you will see this Custom Connectors. Click on this. Now you can see that I have already created a couple of Custom Connectors. And I can see from here. And I'm going to create another one for this Currency Conversion API. Click on this new custom connector. We can create it many ways. Create from blank. Create custom connector with import and open API file. Import an open API from URL. Import a Postman collection. I'll go with the create with blank to learn how to create from scratch. So I'll go with the create from blank. I will just keep the name here as Currency Beacon 3. As already I've created with the name Currency Beacon 2. Click on Continue button. You can upload your API provider brand icon here. Which is an optional. I'm not going to upload. Now here I need to pass this host URL in this format. I've kept my API URL ready.
You can copy it from your API URL and paste. And into the host text box. Rest all keep as is. Click on the security. In the authentication section, we have various authentication types, no authentication, basic authentication, API key, OAuth 2.0. I'm going with the API key. And this is the important part in this process. What I need to do here is I need to configure the API parameters. Parameter label as API key, name as API underscore key, and location as query. I am just copying the parameter configuration from my previous custom connectors. It is ready. Then click on the next definition button. Create a new action. For summary, I'll just copy this. Text what I have here. This will list out the global currency rates based on the base currency you provide and paste it. Description is an optional configuration, however, you may pass it. I'll provide this get latest exchange rates globally as operation ID. The operation ID naming should be without any spaces. The next step is to click on the import from sample button. Select the verb as get. And in the URL box, enter your API URL. You will get it from your API provider. I have my API. Get latest exchange rates globally ready and used it here. I'll click on the import button. And I don't need to pass anything here as this is optional. Now my connector seems to be ready. I will click on the next arrow. Again, Click on the next arrow, as these are optional. Before testing your connector, you must save it. Before coming to this testing, we must create a connection from here and select it after refreshing the connection icon. My connection is not, showing as I have not created the connection yet. I need to create a new connection now. I 
I need to get my API key. This is my API key. Copy it and pass it to my connection text box. Then click on the create connection button. Refresh the connection icon. Now I should be able to see my connection that I created now. Just pass the base as USD. Then click on the test operation. My API executed successfully. It's connected to the endpoint and it is with the response status of 200. I can see all the global currencies. We can see global currency exchange rates based on the USD currency base. Now I need go to create another new action. What I'll do is I'll just copy paste this. Operation ID as convert from source to destination. It should be without any spaces. Then I will pass the summary and description. Note. Description is optional. Click on the import from sample button. Just copy the API URL from here. Select get and paste it in the URL text box. These are the parameters I need to pass from to and amount. You can add a default response, which is optional. Copy paste the API output JSON and click on the import button. However, I'm not doing this here. As this is optional. You can make your query parameter a required parameter as well. Please see the screen how I am making a parameter as required. My connector is ready. I'll just click on the update connector. Perfect. Now directly, I'll go to test this action and select the new action. I don't need to create a new connection here, as I already have an active connection and it is displaying here. So I can use that. Enter USD in the from text box and Euro in the to text box. Then I will enter 100 for the amount. Click on the test operation button. The amount 100 has been converted to euro successfully with the current exchange rate.
That's all for today. In the next video, I'll show you how to call a custom connector from Power Automate, Power Apps, and Copilot Studio. I hope you enjoyed and liked this video and it helped you. Please consider subscribing to my channel. For more interesting videos on the latest technology like Generative AI, Copilot, Power Platform, and many more, and help me to grow on this journey. Thank you.